I used to earn ten times as much as this sitting in my husband's house and selling scented candles. What? Oh, do you have a complaint? I'm sorry, but you're going to have to send an email like everyone else. Please expect a reply at 9 a.m. tomorrow. It is after hours. And you can direct any inquiries about your salary to the finance department. It is not part of my job. Girl, do not test me. I will come to your house and we'll talk about this whether you want or not. Or else, I will tell your husband about this. I don't get what you're talking about. You got your base salary. You even got more money despite the fact that you start working here mid-month. I do not care what you say. You cannot be earning more than me. Why should I not? I've been working here longer than you. If you want to discuss this with your son, then do it, but I don't have the energy. I'm actually still working on a very important project right now. I would like if you went about this professionally. So, this is what I get for helping you in time of need. You guys had no plan. You could have lost everything if I had not agreed to come and work for you. I saved you during a major crisis. We thank you for that, but please do not make it any harder for me. I don't make the decisions about these kind of things. I know. I will speak to my son and he will sort this out. With all due respect, he's an executive and he's busy with a lot of stuff. He cannot help you. Maybe there was a mistake on your salary. Please address it with the HR. Check your emails. I send you both mine and your payslip and you earn more. How can you earn more when I have more qualifications and experience than you do? You have been working in the business for some years now. I cannot believe that you don't know about the job description. Hours as well task completer are actually something that you need to consider. No, I will not accept this. You signed a contract which clearly stipulated your salary, so yes, you did accept it. Wow, you're awfully chatty these days. Your head is getting bigger because of the fact that your husband is a very important person in the company. Do you forget your place in the family? No, of course not, mother-in-law. I'm sorry for my outbursts. I have a lot on my plate lately. I don't get why he even allowed you to work when you should have been at home taking care of his kids. They are doing well. But they're going to school, extra mural activities, and not too much trouble. They are excited about that boat trip on Saturday. It would be a if I were to cancel it because I'm sick, would it not? It would. Sleep well. We will speak at the office tomorrow. Have a good night. All the people in the world, you had to hire your entitled mother? Please, do not start again. She is a good addition to the company. I'm very good at making decisions. I've never given you a reason to doubt me, and I don't think you should start now. Okay? Not, it is not okay. Where are you even? It is 11 p.m. already. If you come in late, your food is in the microwave. I cooked your favorite. Did you? You're such a sweetheart. I knew I made the right decision by marrying you. You're not only funny, sweet. A good cook and a good mother. You're also understanding. Letter it will get you nowhere. Your mom is upset about her salary. She says it's too low. I will figure something out with the HR. Gosh, this is not a good thing. If it gets out that you're doing favors for your mother, our employees will lose trust in us. Yes, I get that, but do not be upset. I will handle her and I will get her to accept the slight increase. I will add more work to her job descriptions so that it is justified. Fine. Thank you. We have a crisis in the office. Can you come in? You're in charge at the moment. I cannot come in. Amy is teething. Someone did not submit the correct proposal. Now we might have a cost ourselves a very important client. Well, we can get another one. No, we cannot. This is a very important international client. We need you to present everything to them again. And since you can speak Mandarin, I am sure that they will be more inclined to listen to you. Who messed it up? I don't know, but I will find out. Well, the fire is out. They're back on board. You're superwoman. I can never get tired of watching you own that boardroom. I also had enough time to check the root of the problem. It turns out it was all your mom's fault. What did she do? She has been slacking off work, taking sick days, leaving in the middle of the day, and leaving the work for other people to do. On top of that, she has been telling people that she is your mom and she can do what she wants when they try to stop. Oh boy. 
I don't get why you had to hire her, Marco. She has done nothing but complain and demand money ever since she came here. Do you know that she has been stealing petty cash? I have no choice but to keep my mouth shut off because she is your mother-in-law. And we are back home with the family. She's the matriarch and she calls all the shots. Look, she needed something to keep her busy. You know with my parents' marriage on the rocks, she had to leave town. Dad cut her off and she needed some money. I could not just give her money. I knew you would not like that. So we agreed to give her a job. You agree with yourself? You use the fact that you're my husband to order me to allow her to work here. Now that she works here, she's not even dedicated enough to work properly. How can you say that I force you into anything, Angela? It is the truth, is it not? You're the man of the house and I must listen to everything that you say. Our whole family is like that, but I thought that we would be different. I guess I thought wrong. Please do not do this to me. How can you see that when I have allowed you all the freedom in the world? Now you're on some feminist stuff. You must be getting fed that nonsense by your friends. Please tell me that it's not my husband who admires me for everything that I am. Telling me that I do not have a mind of my own. You know that if they do that we are not like them, that we are equal, they would not be happy. They would not respect me. So, I'm sorry that I've been so harsh with you. I have just been a bit tired. She is also a pain, but I cannot fire. Fine. I'm sorry that I snap at you. I'm going back home right now. I left Amy with the baby. When she recovers, I will take you shopping. I get a limited use of the black card? For one day only. Deal. Hey, Kendall. What is going on? Why can I not open my office? After the work retreat, your mother-in-law said that she felt she needed more space. She got the keys to your office and demanded that I should move everything of hers in. Where am I supposed to work? There's a corner office where I put your stuff. I am the CEO. How could I work in a corner office? You're my assistant. I don't understand why you did not call me as soon as this happened. I did. Please check your phone. After the work retreat, I called you and told you about it. But you did not answer. That is because I was preparing the party that she wanted me to have for my son Jasper. I had no time at all. Ma'am... This is out of line of me, but can I ask you something? What? Why do you put up with it? With what? Everything! You are the majority shareholder. You are the CEO of this company as well. Yet you do not speak back when she insults you. Your husband does not take your side either. Please, do not comment on things that you do not know about. Such as my marriage. I know, I am sorry. But I do not like how you are treated. You do a lot for your family, and here at work, you do a lot too. I do not like seeing you being put down, degraded to working in a corner office. Just leave me alone. You know nothing. I will tell you this as a lawyer of the whole company. You are the CEO, and you should not be allowing Edith to run this place like it is her show. You are the company lawyer. I do agree, but you don't understand everything that is going on. Then make me understand. Oh, now you want to understand? Please, talk to me as your friend. You are my company lawyer. We were childhood friends, but we are nothing more. Are we really? If you were my wife, I would not have treated you in this way. Where is your husband these days? He has been leaving you alone to deal with the kids. Work? And his mom? I do not know what you mean. Stop covering for him. We all know he's barely at work these days. Are there cracks in your marriage? There are none. Please talk to me as if nothing has happened. Please, I am your friend. And I feel as you're in deep pain. It all started when we got married. His family and mine both have the same values. That I should be seen, not heard. But he allowed me to be free. And eventually... I bought shares in this company. I had no idea you worked here, but soon he worked here as well. If he knew, he would not be happy, right? I love him. He is a good man, but yes, it would not look good. And if they knew that I was a CEO and the major shareholder, they would convince him to take all the shares. Then I would be told to stay back home and take care of the kids, as we have always done. Then leave. 
I have two kids with him. Don't act as if I have a choice. I am sorry. I did not mean to. Just wanted to remind you that you are way stronger than you think. You have always stood up for justice. You have always said you would own your own company. And you did it. But I will tell you that she will destroy your company. But I cannot get rid of her. Why? Because your husband got her the job. Well, it is up to you. You must choose now. If he loves you as much as he says that he does, then he will forgive you for this. Okay, I will fire her. I am done. She already messed up several times and there are several complaints against her. Good for you. Thank you, and I miss you. It was not your fault that we could not be friends anymore. It was all on me. Angela, where are you? I've been looking for you for the past hour. Why did I just get fired? It has to be a mistake. My son runs this place. There is no mistake. You're fired. You could not do that to me. I will see you down to the last paperclip. I am a valued staff member. This is illegal. And I refuse to leave without seeing your son. Tell me when you find him because I am tired of covering for him at work. You're fired. You don't complete your task. You make other employees feel uncomfortable and nearly cost us a client. Ever since you started working here, you've been slacking. You have become a liability. So, I would like to ask you to leave. I will not leave. How dare you? I am your mother-in-law. And I am the majority shareholder and the CEO. I am telling you to leave my company immediately and make sure that you take your things only. Fine. I will leave. But you will not get away with this. There is no need for you to lie about being the CEO. I am not lying. Have you not seen the most people here report to me? We did not tell the family because of how you guys are so determined to suppress women as soon as they are married. You are a disgrace. I cannot believe that my son married someone like you. I knew I should have gotten him to marry someone less full of nonsense. When he comes back, he will throw you out. Mark my words. He loves me. He would never do that. I am his mother, and I know him better than you ever could. You have no idea you married my dear. Do you think that you managed to tame him with your sweet words? He is still my son and he will protect his mother just like his father taught him to. You are foolish to think that he will side with you. Hey, sorry to bother you at these hours. I needed to do me a favor. Sure, ma'am. What do you need? Go to my husband's office and look through it. If you find something suspicious, then bring it to me. Where are you? In my suite at the hotel. Why are you at the hotel? If you tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, you will lose your job. We fought and he kicked me out. How could he kick you out? For starters, he owns a house. And I left my kids there. He will not let me take them with me. Tomorrow morning, I will lodge a complaint. That is why I need you to look through his office for evidence. He was gone for several days and now he kicked me out just because I fired his incompetent mother. Things are not making sense. I will do so. You were right. He has been up to something. Has he been cheating? You need to see this for yourself. Open up. I've been ringing the doorbell for ages. No, I kicked you out, remember? Stop being stupid. Do you think that you can separate me from my kids? Yes, I can. They're my son and daughter, and they will not leave this house. You have five minutes before I call the cops. I have an order from the court. Unless you want to spend the night in jail. Then you should open up right now. My mother is here, and she can take care of the kids. Perfect. Your mother is here as well. Well, let me in so that I can tell her that she was right after all. I should have never married you. I did not know you. All along, I had been so blind, thinking you're okay with me being more than just a baby machine for you. What are you talking about? You have less than four minutes left to open that door. You have barely been gone with my kids for an hour, and you're already sending me divorce papers? Yes, I beat you to it. Did I not? I was not going to divorce you. I'm sure that your tantrum will end at some point and everything will go back to normal. Will it not? 
I was just upset that you made this decision without consulting me, and you embarrassed my mother publicly. If you apologize to her, then I do not think that we will have a problem. Oh, quit acting. You do not love me. You love my money. You would not have it all if it was not for me. You cannot take credit for my intelligence and hard work. I got myself here. I did this for our kids. So that we would leave this legacy for them. But all you wanted was to steal it. I did not try to steal anything. In fact, I am sure that you have been planning to leave me. Why would I do that? I love you. Even though right now, all I want to do is take that love and throw it away. But you did not love me when we got married. I learned to love you because I saw you as a kind man. You protected me and gave me two kids. I felt safe enough to love you. No, you love him, Sam. No, I do not. Yes, it makes more sense now. You were having an affair with him. My mother was right about you. You are not a good woman for me. You know what? I will give you a divorce. And I will take everything that you owe me. You will not take my company. We did not sign a prenup, remember? Even if I lose everything, I will be free of you. Sam is twice the man that you will ever be. Take that back! How can you compare me to that lowly waiter? He is a lawyer now. So I guess he's good enough for you now. You know, you act as if you do not care about money. But at the end of the day, you are just as materialistic as your family that got you married to me because of my family status. I married you because you were a decent person. I was your second option after Sam left you. That was a low blow and you knew it. I'm so drained. I know, but you can do it. Not even my family supports me. How am I supposed to stay strong? Because you're not in the wrong. He is. He has been lying to you your entire marriage. I wish that you were the one representing me. I would have torn him apart. He would not even have a shirt left. I don't care about the money. I care about my kids. If he got full custody, then he will have one. I know. My best bet is to focus on the kids. He wants money. Let that be the bait you need to nail him. He also still works for me. Buy him. After the divorce, I need to make sure that my kids are safe with me first before I take him out of my life completely. I have more than enough reason to fire him and the proof as well. He really has no idea that you're onto him? He does not. But gosh, I was so dumb. He probably hired his mom to keep him busy while he went behind my back. Yes, that makes sense now. He needed his mom to distract me while he went away for days and days. Stay strong. You are nearly there. I have told you a million times that you are fearless, and he and his family cannot destroy all that you have worked hard for. As for your family, he do not need them. Where have they been all these years? Do they even check up on you? You're right. After they got me married to him, they did not so much as check up on me. I can do this. Alone. All with me by your side. Sam. I mean as a friend, truly. We can talk about everything else when your divorce is finalized. For now, take care of yourself and remember who you are. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without you. How did you win custody of the kids? And how do your assets only amount to 100k? Where's the rest of your money? Tell me. Right now. You mean the company in the shares? Those are far from your grubby son's fingers. How is the company not in your name? Hi, Marco. I'm sorry, your visit with the kids is a month from now. There's nothing I can do to help you. Don't act stupid. Why are you even mad? You got to keep your house. Okay, fine. I will tell you before you blow a fuse. So delicate, like a baby. Remember the time you tried to steal a company from right under me while working with the rival company? I did no such thing. I can show you all the evidence I found if you want. I have high quality pictures right here. Could have you arrested for looking through my things. I had reasons to suspect you of corporate espionage. And I was very right in doing so. He wants to steal everything from me, using your mom to keep me busy. But my intuition told me that there was more to it. Your confidence when you kicked me out confirmed it. If I wanted to do it, why did I not do it? Probably because we were not on speaking terms I would have been the number one suspect. On that note, you're fired. You cannot. 
Ask your mom how this goes. I don't want to have to repeat myself. You are pure evil. You are ungrateful. He has done so much for you and you leave him with nothing. He can resign if he wants to retain his benefits and reputation. I never knew you to be so cold-hearted. Please, can you reconsider? I beg you, as a mother. No, I cannot reconsider. What if he tries to sell my company to my competitors again? I cannot work with people I do not trust. What happened to you? When did you become this hungry for power? Look around you. Your family left you. Your husband left you. And soon your employees will leave you. You cannot be someone without people who care about you. I see it as a trash taking itself out. I don't need to be surrounded by people who do not care about me and are only interested in using me. You have never treated me well. Your whole family has not. But I say because being with Marco was the best thing ever. I have never been loved like that. I never thought I would after Sam left me. Then for the sake of that love, could you have mercy? My mercy lies in not dragging him to court for what he did. Leave me alone. There is nothing more for us to discuss. You will regret this. Then I will live with it. Anything else? <laughs> nothing else. Hi, Kendall. How are you? Are you busy? Just responding to some emails. Let me come immediately. No, it's fine. I just wanted to thank you for everything that you have done for me. Without you, I would have not known that he would wanted to take over my company. Just doing my job, ma'am. I wanted to know if you wanted to consider taking over a temporary management position that could be permanent after two months? I have noticed you have been upskilling. How did you know that? You have applied to some internal positions in the past, but you know how HR and my ex were. Well, he pretended to be all for falling protocol when all he meant was neptimism. But by giving me the job, would that not be nepotism? You have experience and are qualified enough, and there is additional training you can attend. Thank you so much! I'm speechless. You deserve it! Why do I feel like you have been avoiding me? No, I have not. The last time I saw you was the day you transferred my company back to me. I did not even get a chance to thank you before you left. It has nothing to do with you, I promise. Here we go again. I cannot win with you. What do you mean? I'm giving you space to heal from the divorce. I don't want to just bombard you when you are not ready. I'm not ready to date yet, but I am ready to talk about our past. So I'm guessing you want to know why I left? Yes. Your parents were never going to accept me. I was a waiter struggling to go through law school. I had few more years left than I was going to ask for your hand. But everyone knew you were going to get married to Marco. No, that happened after you left. I was a waiter. I heard things. The deal was on. They just wanted me out of the way. So instead of fighting me, you left? I am sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. It was more than 10 years ago. If that had not happened, who knows where we would have been. Well, you would not have those two beautiful children for starters. But it is in the past and I am sorry. And I am also sorry that I ignored the messages that you sent before my wedding. You had every right to. What did I even think? That you would leave him at the altar like it was a romantic movie. You have always complained about me thinking that life is a fairy tale. I know. They are so corny. Sorry. I have been avoiding you. If you say sorry one more time, then I will not talk to you. I wanted to say it just now. But okay. I will not apologize. You owe me a coffee. Three months from now. Everything is still raw and I need to take care of my kids. But if you're free, then I would like to go out with you for a coffee. See you in three months then. See you. I knew it. Marco? What do you want? I sent the kids with everything they need. You made me the glorified babysitter while you were gallivanting with that low life. His name is Sam. He just wants you for the money. You know that, right, darling? Not everyone is as comeback like you, Marco. How dare you starting dating again? Do you not care about your reputation? The whole town knows of your escapades after we got divorced. Did I ever pester you over them? Uh, whatever. Stay out of my business. We're co-parents. Not married. Shortly after our divorce, his mom's divorce was finalized and they moved in together. 
I'm not a fan of that the fact my kids have to be around her, but it's only two weekends a month. It could be worse. Sam and I are dating now, but we're taking things slow. Marco is always harassing me, but after Sam exchanged words with him a few days ago, he backed down. Let us see how long it lasts. 